the River Tyne, where ships have been built since 1296. It grew to be one of Britain's largest centres of shipbuilding and saw the construction of the world's longest ship, the SO Northumbria, in 1967. True to this heritage, in 1974 came a revolution to transform the world of shipping, led by these men. The roots of the revolution go back to 1881, when Max and Albert Holzapfel began mixing paints by the Tyne to combat fouling. On their success was built the business that has continued to pioneer fouling control ever since, international paint. At the time these scientists led International's research, what were ship owners looking for? Way back in the early 60s, the fouling problem on ships was animal dominated. During the next 10 years, the ships became bigger and bigger, and the stationary periods in port became shorter and shorter. The fouling problem changed from one that was animal dominated to one that was algal dominated. And uh, that was the problem that we started to look at. Which led International on to the invention of SPC. But how did they discover that the polishing effect was beneficial? When it came to visiting test patches, I noticed that places where there were hollows in the hull and the paint was thick, there were still residues of paint left. I, I came back to the lab all pale and shaking and said, they've done it. <laughs> Somebody was still trying to stop it eroding. And I said, no, 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 it's not erosion, it's polishing. Mm -hmm. I think it was in 1974 that we first revealed to the world the polishing effect which was an extremely powerful approach. And the key developments in this was a Norwegian ship owner. He gave us a ship to apply SPC. The results were phenomenal. The ships were entirely clean. The performance of that ship had actually improved with time out of dock. Pending legislation on the use of tributyl tin, TBT, in anti-fouling paints and International's continuous development led to the introduction of TBT-free self-polishing copolymer, SPC, in the form of InterSmooth SPC copper acrylate technology. Then came InterSwift, incorporating a blend of SPC and controlled depletion polymer technology, CDP. So what was the benefit of InterSwift? The big benefit was uh, cost reduction almost SPC performance, but at a much more acceptable level for them. They almost got the best of both worlds. But there was a big step up in cost and performance going to the new tin-free SPCs like our InterSmooth 460 and 360 systems at the time. And complementing the biocidal anti-fouling range is InterSpeed CDP, providing an economical choice in fouling control. Then came InterSleek, the first biocide-free foul release system designed to improve the environmental profile and fuel efficiency of the global fleet. In the late 90s, um, the first thing we looked at was obviously this new technology with regard to its sustainability, as the non-biocidal systems. Uh, these systems don't rely on the release of a biocide into the environment. What they rely on is the, uh, the action of water across the surface to remove fouling organisms um, under the shear of the vessels. Uh, these systems are naturally very smooth, so ship owners found that they provided very good performance in terms of fuel savings. In terms of copper acrylate technology, but elsewhere as well, we developed or gained a high solid silyl patent in 2006. And I guess the other big milestone was uh, 2007, the introduction of Intersleet 900. And shortly after that, we introduced our class leading Intersmooth 7465 high solids copper acrylate products, which led really to probably the highest solids, highest volume solids, lowest VOC, true SPC on the market. Now, the fouling control family of products has a complementary range of technologies, foul release and anti-fouling. With the launch of silyl acrylate coatings, extending the high performance anti-fouling range, International became the only coatings manufacturer to offer the choice of both copper acrylate and silyl acrylate products. With current technologies we are very nearly there, but we're not quite there yet. I think there is always the opportunity for us to improve. You just have to work a little harder. What next in International Paint's progress towards total fouling control? driven by a passion for innovation, holding fast to the principle of sustainability, dedicated to creating coatings that enhance vessel efficiency and keep customers out in front. 
and building on the patented discoveries of these performance pioneers. The revolution continues.